forgot to share my screen. Can you see? Uh, yes, I can see the uh, start menu, and now it looks like you're loading. I am going to do. You called it sand. Called it Danzig Corridor. I don't. Why don't I see it? Did you send me a save? No. Well, yeah, you have to, or, did, or you sent me a. Oh, I get what I did. My bad. My bad. I put it in the save. Oh, okay. Yeah. Obviously, the format. How they how they store that is different. There it is. All right. Yeah, that's... Do you have any thoughts you want to share with people before we start? No, not really. Okay. <laughs> We take it along the way. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember, what did you do last time? Did you have two tactical bombers? No, I only had one. I just bought the second uh, for this mission here. And then, oh, yeah, up here at the top, I normally go for the city, you see, uh, at sorry. the left lower corner. Um, but this time I try to Go to the other city first. So do you and I think on... that was a good idea. Yeah. Do you plan on crossing? Normally I go... No, just take the city. Oh, okay. Because you don't want to have anything happen and to, then... your, to your back door. No. Hmm. Well, I think there's lots of ways. You have 14 turns. There's lots of ways. What I do on uh, ultimate mode is I immediately attack here to kill it. And then I uh, teleport the artillery into the city because it's safe. Um, yeah. And then I immediately have a strong position here because you're desperate on time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how how this works. It means you'll be very slow up here. Yes, uh, that uh, is correct. Okay. And I notice that um, because I, I go uh, right to start with, uh, the guy in the city left where I normally go down, uh, he left the city. Yeah, they will do that. Um, I don't know why. It's really strange. Yeah. They're set to. Uh active, so maybe they think protecting a major hex directly makes more sense. Yeah, I think you're right on that. So this is interesting. You uh, did not go for clearing this guy out right away. No. So, so did you think that pushing up this rail line was more important? 
No, because I, I go at the bottom still. Well, it's uh, first I take the two cities in the bottom before I move up and take the one in the center of the screen. So I just find it interesting because you didn't like you could take this city. It's only a five strength unit. So yeah. you could arrange it so your artillery can take a shot and then move. And you also had a, a yes. free plane. So I, I think that would have been more optimal. Because there's no reason why you couldn't take the city turn one. I I know that if I, uh, if I would, I could have taken that in the first turn. That's correct. But I think that um, uh, it's because I want to play more safe and that I want all my artillery and uh, it goes in one large um, group. So where are you sending? Your, I think, where will you stake your artillery position? At the bottom. Oh, you're going to put along, it here? I think, yeah, along the road. Okay. Uh, after I capture the city there in the bottom, where, uh, I could have taken the first turn. I go at the bottom at the screen to capture the airfield and then I start moving up. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> actually that's more confusing to me than ever because why wouldn't you take this city on turn one to open up the road so you could get here? I think it's because the horse, uh, the stand near the artillery at the river, I'm afraid uh, that if he moves somehow, uh, if he move uh, one step or two step ahead, I will be spotted. So here's and a... Here's because... A Here's a fun fact yeah. you should know. Most units in city in major hexes are hold position passive. Okay. The vast majority of them. So this this cavalry will not move. Okay. I never thought about that. Yeah. So that's how on ultimate mode I can get a decisive. <laughs> because I guess can... I can blow by this guy and then park units here and then move them up into artillery protection using my yeah. artillery, my tri I'm my famous uh, triple or my triangle artillery configuration. And that's enough to yeah. deter the, the enemy. Uh, but you're not like in a huge hurry because you got 14 turns. It's the same feeling I have. I'm not in a hurry. Yeah, that's good. Those are uh, hold position passives, so they don't, uh, refer they don't get replacements. No. the north up here because you got two infantry. Yeah. Normally I'm much weaker because I can't afford to send this many units north. Yep. Standard yeah, they come out. If you want to see some wild stuff, watch my ultimate mode of this map, because I show how to deal with this counterattack in an ingenious way. Okay, I'll do that. I'm also going to see your Warsaw uh, oh, yeah. gameplay that in one ultimate mode. That, that Warsaw yeah. one is genius. Just a sneak peek so I can learn. Oh man, it's so good if you kill this anti-tank, because it frees up yeah. space to do stuff. You know, you could probably show the pack, and since there's no cavalry, 
Uh, they won't see the artillery guy. I'm curious if that's what you end up doing. Well, here, it's, I, I end up to make a line and say, now the one in the middle, in the center there, he will spot uh, my units down there. And I have to see if, if they're going like they do to confront me. And then I can take them out. So you got a lot of surrender options. So this is a problem. You exposed him without artillery support. You oh, yes. Actually, yes. You should have taken the city. Uh, but, yeah. And believe me, when that happened up there, I was, uh, yeah. I did swear that say that and I said, ah, oh, really? How stupid of me. And that again, um, remember yesterday when we were yeah. talking about the way I play that I sometimes forget to, well, take it easy and so, take one more second to think. Because of this situation, you're better off not attacking the tank. You would have been better off attacking the infantry. Yeah. So that that's making your situation worse. Oh, this is good, though. You're getting some excellent... Oh man, your pack could clean up there. Yep. Your tank could And you do more cleaning. Oh yeah, there's a lot you can do here. Because you could send a tank up to uh, kill that if you wanted. Or your scout. And, um... Well, you made a mistake. You should have gone this way so you could back up and get artillery protection. Because you could have sent it that way and you had a movement point left. Oh, okay. Oh, but they didn't attack you because you damaged the tank so no. much that it yes. wasn't worth it. Well, actually, funnily enough, this mistake might be able to get a surrender here. Oh, I get a two times rough defense yep. on that guy. Yeah, your experience is help not helping. Like, you have inexperienced units, so maybe the defense is getting higher. It gets worse. So the more uh, the the more experience a unit have, the lesser the chance of rough defense yep. is. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Also, something I haven't fully really explored, but I suspect is true. If you up the experience of the AI's units, um, the chance of a rugged defense is dramatically higher. I've, I've okay. experimented with it, and despite the fact they have zero stars, rugged defense skyrockets. And I don't think it's a coincidence. So try to imagine playing this with like double the experience. For the enemy. Oh yes. Oh man, you really cleaned up. So you can set traps here now. Oh, you put the yeah, scout. Yeah, and in I do place. that. Uh... You put the you put the scout over here. You should have put it here. Because this cavalry is gonna come. Oh man, they didn't attack, that's a shame. No, he, he saw that I had these three um, artillery. Yeah, so I set up a trap when... down here where I just surrender over and over again. And get a okay. crazy amount of prestige. You could, you could watch that one if you want to be entertained. Uh, yes, uh, but I will watch it more to learn how to um uh, set up the trap so uh yep because and i, I know on ultimate uh, mode, so <laughs> yeah it's like it's honestly i don't even it's almost incomprehensible how i did that and In, like ingenious exploitation of vision i guess but man you're doing really well you got everybody in the south uh the problem is the cavalry sees everything you yeah. could back off this hex and this cavalry will attack into you. That's one thing you could do. Normally, I also aggressively attack up here. Since everything's in the south, you don't have to worry about a counterattack. Yeah, but up there, you need to take out his artillery. The artillery is in um... position. 
so like you you have a lot of stuff you can get away with because of that. Yeah, okay. I have to have that in mind that uh, when you say it's a hold off passage, so it's just stand there and do not uh, reinforce. Yeah, it'll only attack when it's attacked. So I can send infantry on the river back by artillery and start cleaning up the anti tank ahead of schedule. Yeah. But you have to take out the artillery first, but you can park an infantry unit here to do that. So even on Mance, like on, on Mance team, if you have artillery backing artillery, the anti-tank doesn't want to attack it. So if I had uh, infantry there where you have his pack just south of the city, not there, yeah, there. If I had an uh, uh, infantry there, the artillery wouldn't attack me. Nope. Is that correct? Understand? Yep. Because it's in a major hex, it's in hold position passive. Wow, he's stupid. I didn't make the rule. The creator of the game <laughs> no. made the rule. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's not always true. Like in Africa Corps, um, a lot of times it, units in major hexes can be active. And you can exploit that too, <laughs> as Goose has shown. Okay. But for the most part, I'm very happy that they set the rules up so that uh, they are hold position passive most of the time, so it makes it easier. Yeah. I also use this as a surrender spot. So I suppress the artillery, and then I suppress this unit. So I have like a boatload of artillery in here. When you watch my Danzig, you're going to be like, wow, this is like... Nobody's ever had this much creativity in um, buying units and how I bought them. Because you can buy units up north, assuming that you don't use up all your okay. core slots. Let me, let me pause. So, ah, pause. Up here, you can buy units. Okay, I I didn't knew that. Yeah, that was Bricada's discovery, but he didn't do much with it. And then I figured out on ultimate mode, this was the key to cracking the map. So what happens is these units rush south, and I have a boatload of artillery. So I dominate this space while I block them up here. I block. I them. I can see if if you put up artillery there and go south, yes, you can really do some surrendering. Oh yeah. And since this is ultimate mode, uh, you need prestige. <laughs> so oh, yes. anything, anything and everything you can do to get prestige, um, which makes the yeah. next map easier. <clears throat> Man, you're cleaning up. This uh, is pretty good, actually. Uh, oh yeah, and then you get up there. Oh yeah, this is good. You're really breaking through. This artillery is out of position. I would pull this infantry out, so that way the tankette would come and take this hex. And oh, that was a mistake. Uh, yeah. And and I... Oh, when, I when I recorded, I really said, Oh, come on, why didn't you go south? See, I and, think if you, t if you uh, put this infantry out, it would have taken this hex. Because I think that was closer. Yeah. I think that's uh, one of the next things that I uh, would try to... Uh, learn is as you said down there move the artillery let him capture it back and then kill him because he'll attack you and then uh, take him out again oh yeah you can kill that anti-tank yeah. they're so vulnerable yeah now this and really uh i i i can see yeah he, i'm going for the surrender there um I was afraid that the artillery would have uh, shot at me. That's why I, I keep this distance. So you, but now I know uh, I do not have to fear that. Okay, so one mistake here is you didn't have a lot of artillery, but you had a, you had a tactical bomber. So if yeah. you had a tactically bombed this and then hit it with the tank, you would have gotten a surrender. Yes. So you did that, you attacked in the wrong order. Yeah. You might get a surrender here. Anyway. Yeah, 
but you would have gotten more prestige. Yes, you're correct that I should have used uh, the younger 87. So you can uh, use those for uh, suppression for the next turn, or just for killing active units before surrender. Sometimes I think that's all you need. Yeah. Uh, now I prepare, uh, you see the artillery just uh, shot there, um, I prepare to let him buy in there, in that city area, so I can uh, make him surrender. And I, I think I did much, much better this time. Wow, uh, this is early. Than you, last. Don't, you don't have this one blocked though, or this one. No. Do they only have enough for one? Okay. You need to block both of these. So normally the way this works is you block everything and then kill everything and then back off so they can purchase. Yes. That way you have the last control. Oh yeah, you're cleaning up here pretty good. And then I go over what? so I can... Uh, oh, this is great. Uh, as I call free killing. Oh yeah, now that your artillery is gone, your scout... Get your scout up here, that would be helpful. He's in trouble, he's on a bridge, so he's pretty vulnerable. Yes. And that uh, uh, Panzer one I just moved up, it was uh, so I can go north is necessary. So now I'm uh, uh, encircle him at that city, and I capture the little one, uh, so the city up there. This yes, this. Yep, yeah, I'm going off to block that. Yeah. So this time, I I think I did better uh, with the encirclement of the city. Oh, good. Now we start buying. Uh, yeah, this has got to go. This anti-aircraft. Yeah. So, if you start over-strengthening artillery, if you want to save a lot of prestige, you got to be very protective of it. Yes. But I don't think anything there can uh, hurt my artillery well, as I stand, be because I... Yeah. But he's almost out. Oh yeah, you have him almost out of... Uh... Yeah, he's in trouble. You're attacking with the auxiliary first, that's that's good. Yes, because of the rough defense, I always fear that. This is good, you're getting some excellent farming. You might be able to... Oh, really nice, yeah. Yep, yep, so yep, now I can start uh, making him surrender. Yep. There's, there's more surrenders. You can definitely surrender this anti-tank. I know that there, there are one more that I... Um, or was it two? One or two more I oh, I have surrendered. You got it. This is great. This is the right move. Yeah. And you use the anti-tank. That was right, because it'll do less damage. So now he can buy in again. Not <laughs> That's much. the plan. I don't know how much prestige it has left. Oh, it has a lot of prestige left. Okay. Yes. And but believe me, I was uh, so glad for that. Yeah, get rid of those air defenses. Sure. And now he cannot uh, support it. So it's just a uh, shot and he surrender. You can surrender that art. Well, you're going to kill the artillery. Yeah. And then you need to kill that one. And now I made the decision that this was the last round where he, ha uh, where he could yeah. put in units. So uh, that was like. So I'm going to finish up what he did have. You got like, what, 12 units that he bought? Yeah. See, this is a mistake again. You should Stuka it. 
to make sure you get it reduces likelihood of damage to your unit and it increases the yes. as the surrender works. Yeah. This is a nice strategy. You're just using the air force to weaken it. Yeah, because I have all the artillery on uh, focus on the surrendering there. And when there stand three around him out there, I know he cannot get bigger. Yeah, he should be de-entrenched at this point. That city in the back. Yeah, I think he's. I, I think he's on two. Oh, but then you're sending them out. Yeah. I think so. so you can get two more surrenders here. Yes, I'm going for that. The one in the city and the anti-tank tank. Anti. Yeah, you have so. Anti-tank. <laughs> You could use the anti-tank. Oh, does the anti-tank not have movement left? Okay. I would have used the anti-tank there. You would have gotten more percent. Oh, the tank is perfect on the bridge into the city. Yep. Yeah, because he, he, he doesn't make a big killing. Look at how much prestige you have. That's pretty good. Well, I'm... Um, um... I'm quite satisfied with uh, this uh, end here because I think the the encirclement of the last city was much more perfect this time compared to Poznan. Also, because I had all uh, together. You only made one mistake. It was with this artillery. Oh yes. Uh, yeah, it was when it was in truck and. Uh, let's see your. Infantry. It was hit. You probably took a couple of unnecessary points of damage on the scout, but. It's not a big deal. But man, this is pretty good. I'm assuming like you're... Um, you got great experience as well on your units. One star, one star, almost one star. Almost yeah. one star, almost one star. Yeah, you got your pack to one star. That's really good. Your artillery, yeah. Your stukas are fine. Yeah, all of them are one star. Really good. So, are you gonna do videos on this, or are you just saving this for a discussion between us? Um, I think that I would stop uh, in this campaign here. Um, not that I don't want to discuss them, but I think that I already have the grand campaign running, uh, where I start now in forty-one. And I'm going to finish that. Um, and then instead, I have a suggestion that I start up uh, Africa Corps. And then we can have the discussion uh, in that. Uh, what do you say about that? Uh, yeah. We could talk about that. I would have to, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not as good at Africa Corps, but What's really important is the the tactics. I probably that would probably give me an excuse yeah. to uh, watch Goose's double Rommel of Africa Corps. <laughs> yes, uh, which is probably you know in my opinion I think it might be the best playthrough of of any campaign, and uh, that's been shown by anyone because it's totally insane what he does in his Africa Corps. I don't think yeah. anybody understands Africa Corps as well as Goose does. Okay. But no, this is really um, good. I, outside of one mistake here, a couple of minor things with using Stukas for suppression. Um, yeah, you're doing really well. You've improved a lot. Like, if you look at your other Danzig compared to this one, I think oh, you would yeah. be like, wow, you're looking like a professional player. Um, uh, one thing uh, that I think is the major difference is my artillery. I have uh, really seen um, the um, the important uh, how important it is to have a good and strong artillery mm -hmm. uh, to bomb before you enter a hex. Really, it's amazing. 
it's so important to have a good artillery. I would say once you're uh, field marshal and up, you better master artillery or you're going to be having a miserable experience. And I, I yes. think when I look at the forums and people are like, well, this mode's impossible and this mode's impossible. And they start sharing their cores and people are kind of like, well, where's your artillery? Why is half of your core tanks? Yeah. So they think the, the artillery, it, uh, the artillery, it's the key to success. You're reducing the RNG significantly. <clears throat> yes. Um, and and if 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 you doesn't have uh, enough artillery, you will really run into trouble. I know that if you use Stuga to bomb tanks before you hit them with your own tanks or anti 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 tanks, um, it's it's not the same. You need the artillery to suppress just once, and then you can have them surrender or retreat or anything. The artillery is the key for me to to do very good. And the Sturm Panzer I normally use because I like uh, the movement where you say, you move and shoot, you move and shoot. That you cannot do with these type of artillery. So, so I have to rethink how to use them uh, to benefit the way I play. And I can see that much, much better uh, without the Sturm Panzer. Oh yeah, I guess the storm These small... teaches bad habits. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, it's a uh, it's also um, this with zero point eight uh, shot from for ten, and this one has ten shot mm -hmm. um, for ten artillery, and that's that's make it different. Yep. Now uh, I do think a couple storm panzers are useful. Um... But they're useful for defensive purposes. So if you look at the way uh, Goose and I have been using Storm Panzers, it's often to just stake out a position and then invite an yeah. attack in. Because if you're playing on higher difficulties, you 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 can't just storm the Bastille and 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 have your way. You're you're at a severe disadvantage, so you have to invite the enemy to attack you. Yes. Well, this was pretty good. I honestly didn't have much to say. It just just minor technical things, which is easy to do on everyone's uh, attempts. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad to hear. I will. But thank you for two good advice. Uh, the one with the artillery in the city that it doesn't uh, shoot back, and uh, that you can put in units on top, really, because if you play on a higher level that's uh, that's quite uh, important to know that you can put it in units uh, from north and go south yeah it's the only time the only scenario i think it's actually useful is this one you can buy here yeah send them south turn two turn three they're ready to pound away <clears throat> So, and you, it gives you a lot of firepower. It, it's amazing how dangerous this force gets when you give them firepower. Yeah. They just mow everything down. All right. Uh, so next yeah. week, were you gonna start Africa Core or were we gonna do lots? Yes, I will do that. No, I, okay. I, I think we should start off Panzer Corps uh, Africa version, uh, Africa Corps, I think that's the name, uh, and do it. Okay. And then we can uh, discuss it uh, along when I'm playing. Yeah, okay. Might want to invite Goose on that too, but I don't know if he's yes. in the mornings uh, on the weekends. He has the same time zone I do. Um, he's, I guess he's just a lot more busy than I am, so I don't know if he's free. But I think he would be very excited to see that because he loves Africa Corps. So anyone... Yeah, playing more Africa core, he thinks is is a win. <laughs>